Ilan sa mga salitang binitawa nitong head coach ng ating kababayan sa NBL? Ilang araw nga matapos tong naganap na huling laban ng Adelaide 36ers kontra sa kapuna ng Taypants. Yan ay matapos mong ilike ang video na ito, mag-subscribe sa ating channel at pakidamay na rin ang ating official na Facebook page. Pero bago natin simulan, eh alam mo bang isa ang 1x bet sa mga leading betting company sa buong mundo? Kaya naman wag nang magdalawang isip pa at tumalpak na. Yeah, you saw it. You can watch it back over and over again if you you did a notice. We uh, we played not to lose, and it's not the way that you play the game of basketball. And uh, clearly, you know, Scott was great for him. Uh, McCall got going. Um, they had different things, but we sort of uh, and not so many. Oh, oh, let's just uh, keep it PG. It was uh, we uh, they got the better of us, and and we sort of went backwards. I think your first comment summed it up perfectly. For 35 minutes, you were so aggressive and executed so well offensively, and then you seemed to go in your shells. I mean, we, did you just get too passive? Or were you trying to save the game rather than, than win it? No. Well, you always play to win a game, but um, yeah, we did have a patch there where, from uh, I guess eight minutes to five, uh, eight to two minutes, I think we were try playing not to lose the game, um, which is unfortunate, especially when you you leave for 27 minutes. But um, Things that you got to learn and keep getting better at, and uh, I think uh, we, we missed some easy bunnies. We uh, we got a few charges down the stretch, which uh, you know could have been if you play off two feet and you do certain things, those shots probably go in. Uh, their aggressiveness on the defensive end, I thought, as we were playing offense and we were scoring the ball, our defense sort of kept going up. But hats off to to Cairns and and Ford and his crew to be able to fight fight through home game, uh, big crowd. And again, it's something that's uh, special. I hope that around the league that we continue to see crowds like that, which is play playoff atmosphere and able to play in those sort of situations. How frustrated are you right now? Because I mean, you were so close to making yeah. it five wins in a row, and you could have had so much momentum. How how are you feeling right now? Yeah, pissed. Like it's, it, I mean, you go celebrate New Year's, and I'll do it my way. But I'm not happy with how our team played out. But again. You're going to lose games and win games, and you steal games, and uh, you got to find ways to keep battling and, and keep your head up. And as, as I told our guys, like we're in a dogfight, and every team is. And you know, it's when you let stuff like this slip, it's understand that you got to regroup and come back. And the mindset's got to be, you, you don't have long to turn around. We got a lot of games coming up in a short period of time, and um, as I said, every possession counts, like um, on both ends of the floor. The one player that did look like he had composure down the stretch when everything was falling apart was, was Ian, once you put him back into the floor, that's, that's exactly why you got him here. Definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he, he speaks for himself. I I'm, I'm not here to, to add to that, but I, I think, uh, yeah, he's been great, great addition to our club. Um, how he's come in and impact us on both ends of the floor has been great, and even the leadership and everything else that you, that you guys don't see behind closed doors has been amazing. Yeah, Ian. Uh, I mean, it's tough, honestly. Um, but at the same time, we can't hang our heads. <clears throat> We've uh, since I've been here, it's only been two games. But I mean, a couple of three games. I only played in two. But um, I mean, we've we've had to lead both games, and we've kind of let it doing them away. So, like Coach said, we got to find ways to to make sure we finish games the right way. Um, obviously, this one hurt tonight because we we were on the road, and I felt uh, personally that you know we we were gaining ground, we were building building blocks to. To become the team that can that put 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 guys away, put teams away. Um, we let them back in it tonight and give credit to them. They kept fighting um, and they they won the game. So, what do you think the team did well in the first 35 minutes to be in that winning position? And then what do you, what did you see first thing from the bench and then when you came into the game that wasn't wasn't working down that, that final stretch? Um, I think we 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 got stops. I think at the beginning of the game we were kind of trading baskets with them. Um, obviously, you know. Um, Scott got going early, um, hitting some shots and kind of keeping him in it. And I think that once we buckled down and got stops and were able to run the ball, uh, we got what we wanted. And I think that we played to not to lose rather than playing to win. And it, you know, it, it showed. You know, we, like Coach said, we, we got a couple turnovers down the stretch, but some some of them were just defensive breakdowns, uh, things that we were doing the first 35 minutes that we didn't do in the last five, and um, it hurt us. 
you've been here with this team for nine days now. How are you settling in and how are you finding it perhaps compared to how how quickly you settled in last year when you got to, got to Sydney? Um, I don't really think about last year. Honestly, I'm here now um, and I'm focusing on you know, my teammates, this group that we have. Uh, I'm settling in fine. Um, obviously, it's my second game and I'm feeling even better than, than the last one. Um, obviously, we want to win every game, uh, but I just think for, for myself and I think the, the guys in, in the locker room, we just want to keep getting better each game. Even though this is a loss, we can still learn from it. Um, go watch film um, and start the new year off uh, the way we want to do it, getting back to the, to the drawing board. Still got nine games to go over the regular season. Are you pretty excited about what you can be part of with this team? Definitely. Um, I know the guys we have in, in the locker room. Um, I know the coaching staff that we have worked their butts off to, to put us in great positions. Um, it's, it's about us getting on the floor and executing. Uh, and I think game by game, practice by practice, um, we'll, we'll start you know, inching away to, to, to get rid of you know, silly mistakes and things that we can't control and everything else. You know, we'll, we'll let it fall into the hands that it, that it be. CJ, just a, a last one. How do you try to shake this off? And I guess try to bring in the, in the new year on a, on a positive note over the next couple of hours and then I guess focus on a, another home game on Friday night? Uh, well, focus on good health. As you know, um, it's a busy time of the year and everyone will be out and partying and, and doing things and everyone's got to look after themselves. So first I pray for that. Um, and for our team to continue to get better, right? Like I'm, I'll go back and can keep figuring out ways to keep making our group uh, connect, uh, keep improving, and, and make little improvements so that we can be at the, be there at the, at the dance at the end of the year.